Good evening, teacher. Hi, Johnny. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Oh, new look. <laughs> it's just my, I no, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> How are you today, Johnny? No, oh, I'm fine. Good. But, but I have a headache. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, no. Right. Have you taken I, any medicine? No, I'm going to drink uh, tea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yes. Excuse me, please. I dropped something. <laughs> Very good. Did you go to school today, um, Johnny? Yes, but I went to print uh, diplomas. Oh, okay. Okay, very good. Hi, Daniel. Hey, good evening, teacher. Good how evening, are you? fine. How are you? Nice, I'm here <laughs> at yeah, home. Yeah, <laughs> at home, very good. And you go yes. back to work tomorrow, no? No, uh, Friday. Oh, Friday. Okay. Friday, yes. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Okay. Hours from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Wow. At 7.45, 7, 7 p.m. I'm here in my home. Okay, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. Only, right. only, if, only if he go to the class. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very good. Okay. Yes. And you live here in San Salvador, you said, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, very nice. Do you like your job, Daniel? Yes, I'm lovely. <laughs> yeah, all right. Is yes. it interesting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's interesting because it's no, I, I don't, I don't work. Okay, nunca había trabajado en esa área. I ah, you, you, have, yes. you never worked on that area before? Yes, yes. Ah. And, uh, because, in, in, in fact, I, I, uh, I am graduate or university mm -hmm. and must, uh, how say, administration? Okay. Administration business. Yeah, business administration, yes. uh huh. Business, business administration, and I start working in that, in that uh, company like a driver oh yes yes i'm working like a driver two two and a half years okay and i, I see the so you saw the opportunity uh-huh new opportunity i'm i'm applying i'm here <laughs> and you got it yes yes um, excellent say, uh, i receive a training uh -huh. yeah, no problem. Yeah, a training for um, one month. Okay. And let's go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Excellent, mm -hmm. Daniel. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Super. Very good. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's very nice. I'm, and now I'm, you. I'm, 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 I'm how, sorry, I'm how uh, two years in that position. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very nice, Daniel. Thank you for sharing that information. Very nice. I see Carlos Roberto also, Giovanni Alexander. Hello, Jorge Argueta. And Rocio. Hi, Rocio. We missed you yesterday, Rocio. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, so I'm happy everybody's here. Julio is coming now. Very good, guys. So yesterday we were talking a little bit about there is and there are, okay? We said yesterday that there is is for singular use only and there are is for plural use, okay? Remember that when we use there is, we also, we have to use um, either a or an or one. For example, you say there is a notebook. 
there is a notebook or there is one notebook, all right? I cannot say there is notebook, no, necesito, o el número, que en este caso sería uno, or I need a quantifier, in the case is one, or I need an article, a or an, porque me denota uno, necesito ponerlo cuando me refiero a singular. When we talk about plural forms, then we use a quantifier. It can be a number, it can be a lot, a few, some, all right, lots of. So those are quantifiers. I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna share this with you here uh, on my board. Can you guys see my board right now? Yes? Yes. All right, <laughs> thank you. I'm going to write, oops, quantifiers, all right, we can use some, oops, I'm not spelling right today. We can use some, many, much, claro que el many y el much va a depender si es contable o no contable. A lot, a lot of, or I can say lots of, thank you. Lots of, I can say few or a few. Okay, todos esos son quantifiers that you can use. También podemos usar números. All right, we can say two, three, a hundred, a thousand. All right, for example, I can say I have 13 um, students in class or I have many students in class. All right, so it depends if I know the number if I want to say the number or I just use a quantifier, okay? So that's very, very important you, that you use. Remember that many is for countable and much is for non-countable, okay? Eso también es muy importante que lo recordemos. Many and much, it depends if it's countable or uncountable. Pero todos esos son quantifiers that we can use cuando usamos el there is or there are. I can say, for example, I'm just going to move it here. I can say there are lots of cars in San Salvador. Okay, there are lots of cars, or I can say there are many cars, or I can say there are a lot of cars in San Salvador. Puedo optar por cualquiera de esos quantifiers, all right? Porque obviamente no sé el número, pero si yo sé exacto el número, si voy a decir un millón, there, um, I don't know, there are like thousands of cars, there are millions of cars in San Salvador, okay? Entonces jugamos con esos quantifiers que podemos usar, okay? Any questions about the quantifiers? No, no questions about the quantifiers, estamos bien? All right, very good. I'm gonna stop sharing this right now. Okay, very good. So yesterday, that's what we were looking at. at there is, there are. A ver, recordemos ayer también, eh, vimos la regla del a or an. Recordemos que lo usamos siempre cuando es singular y siempre y cuando la siguiente palabra suene como consonante, voy a usar a. Si suena como vocal, I'm going to use an. Pero es importante recalcar que es sonido, no escritura. Okay, so that's what we need to understand and remember, always. Then we were also talking about negative. All right, the negative sentences, I can say there is not or there are not. Okay, so the not is very important para decir que no hay. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir que por mi casa no hay. No sé que no hay. There is not, um, there is not a pupusería. <laughs> That's a big sin. All right, I don't know. There's not pupuserías close to my house. All right, really? so there isn't any. No, I know, Johnny. Terrible. Me what? toca ir en carro. <laughs> Ah, I see, I, I see, I see a business in your, in your neighbor. I know, <laughs> I know, yeah, we need to open up, yes, Julio, we need to open up a pupusería, yeah, no, I see, yeah. all right, very good, 
Or I can say, for example, there is a police station in front of my house, okay? And that is also true, all right? There are uh, grocery stores like tienditas by my house, entonces decimos que hay, o que no hay, using there is, or there are, there isn't, there aren't, okay? So that's what we were talking about yesterday. The topic is not complicated. The topic is very easy, especially porque ya lo habían visto. So it's like a big repaso of this, okay? Sorry, guys. That was very loud. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, se imagina cuando es el tiempo de caña. Esto es terrible. All right, so right now it's okay. Okay, I'm gonna take the first attendance. Nos vamos con la primera asistencia, luego seguimos con la práctica que hicimos ayer para el cierre de la clase, que fue las preguntas. All right, there is, there are. So here, uh, let me just take the attendance right now, guys, please. So we have here Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present. Ed, uh, Cristina Roxana Romero de Araujo. Ya entró Cristi. No, ok. Hold on, guys. Here we have uh, Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present teacher. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present. Thank you. Jose David Rivera Aquino. Present. Thank you, David. Juan Jose Conrado. Julio César Merino González. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Misael Rivera Aquino. All right. Nancy Lizet Rodríguez Escoto. Present teacher. Thank you, Nancy. Oscar Edilson Correa Spice. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, Rocío Katia Maritza Martinez Cubillas. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa Lisette de Paz Hernández. Okay, then we have Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Present teacher. Thank you. Victoria Maria Vázquez Juárez. Okay, uh, Oscar Armando Esquivel Quiñones. María Melina Iraeta de Salinas. And Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Thank you. All right, very good guys, thank you. Okay, so let's let's go back here guys. I'm just gonna go back. Oh, María Melina, hi. I'm late, but I'm here. Okay. No, but you're here, you're here. Acabo de decir tu nombre, no se preocupe ahorita. Gracias teacher. Very good, thank you. Okay, very good guys. So let's see, yesterday we were talking about this. Ahorita se los comparto. Yesterday we finished the class talking about the last exercise about there is, there are. So I'm gonna put it on the screen para que nos recordemos en que nos quedamos ayer. All right, so just give me a second here. Okie dokie. Okay, so here we have this, all right, so. Daniel Antonio, how many people are there in your family? Okay, in my family there are 12 people. Okay, very nice. Maria Melina, is there a good restaurant near your school or near your um, work? Um, there are um, Silvia's restaurant in they cook delicious oh my goodness i have to go try maria melina very yes. good <laughs> when you want it to share thank you can you. go there <laughs> thank you rocio 
About how many countries are there in the world? Mire que ya le dan la respuesta ahí, Rocío, Katia. How many there, countries? There are around 200 uh, countries. Excellent, very good, Rocío, thank you. All right, then we have here, Vicky. How many months are there in one year, Vicky? There are 12 months in year. In one year or in a year, very good, thank you. Oscar Edilson, is there a book on your desk, Oscar? Yes, there is a book in my desk. Ah, there is a book, okay, on your desk, thank you. Johnny, how many chairs are there in the classroom? Johnny? Excuse me. Um, there are 35 chairs. Ah, okay, very good. There are 35 chairs. Thank you. Carlos Roberto, how many planets are there around the sun? There are eight planets around the sun. Excellent. There are eight planets around the sun. Very nice. Thank you. Let's see. Trini, how many question marks are there on your paper? There are 11. There are 11 question marks. Very good. Thank you. Let's see here. Alexander. Uh, uh, number nine, are there any good movies playing at movie theaters now? Mm. Are there any good movies playing at the movie theaters now? Do you know? Yes, there are. Okay. Do you remember their names or not? <laughs> bueno, 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 bueno. All right, very good. Edwin Eliseo. Mm, vamos a ver, let's go back here, Edwin. Um, how many people are there in our class right now, Edwin? What? How many people are there in our classroom? Ah. Uh. There are uh, many people. <laughs> there are many people. Very good. That's fine. That's okay. Carlos Eduardo Melgar. How? No, excuse me. Is there a clock on the wall in your living room? Excuse me, teacher. No veo esa. No veo la. La, la que le acabo de hacer. Ajá. Uh -huh. La cambió un poquito, pero es la número dos de la B. ¿Logra ver mi pantalla? A la número dos. Sí. Okay. Is there a clock on the wall in your living room? Le cambié de classroom a living room. Ok. There is uh, eight hours. No, no, no. Is there a clock? Hay un reloj en su pared. Eh, ok, ok. Eh, no. No, there, this, perdón, no, uh -huh. isn't. No, there isn't. Very nice. Thank you. Okay. All right. Julio Merino, how many letters are there in the English alphabet? Um, there are um, 26. Um, 26 letters. Yes, there are 26 letters in the English alphabet. Very nice. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado. How many seconds are there in one minute? There are uh, 60 seconds in one Excellent. minute. Excellent. Very good. All right. Very nice. Thank you. Let me see here. Uh, let's see who else I can ask. Um, Jorge Argueta. 
Is there a pen on your desk? On your desk, dijo. On your desk, uh huh, or on your table? No. Uh, yes, there is. Okay, very good. Thank you. Very nice. Nancy, how many windows are there in your house? Nancy? Hola, teacher. Eh, ¿Me la podría repetir, por favor? Sí, claro que sí. How many windows are there in your house? How many windows are there in your house? Um, there is uh, three windows. Okay, there are three windows. Okay, very good, Nancy. Thank you. There are three windows. Very good. Okay, let me see here. Um, David, how many bones are there in the human body? Repeat, please. Yes, how many bones are there in the human body? How many bones are there? Ahí está la respuesta, creo que son 206. Hola. Hola, Dicha. ¿Me escucha? Sí, sí. How many, how many... Un poquito de trabajo. Ah, ok, no se preocupe. Si usted le pregunto a alguien más. Tranquilo ahí. A ver. Um, how, how many? How many bones are there on, in the human body? All right, that's, that's okay, David, that's okay. Creo que tiene problemas de inter. Daniel, how many bones are there in the human body? In the human body, there are 206 bones. Excellent, thank you. Maria Melina, how many pictures are there on this paper? There are seven pictures. Excellent, very nice. Johnny, are there any fun things to do in your town or city? Uh, no, no, there aren't. <laughs> oh, really? Nothing, yeah. nothing fun? No hay nada divertido que hacer en su ciudad? Mm. Only go to Metro Centro. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you. Not All fun. right, guys. Excuse me? There is not fun. There's nothing fun to do. All right, thank you. Okay, very good, guys. So let's see here. We have, let's go back right now to our book. Okay, I'm going to share my screen with you. Let's see, yesterday we finished this exercise. Exercise four we finished, ustedes lo leyeron en el grupo, and then you did this practice, okay? Now, we are going to go to page 21. I will be able to ask and tell information about places at a company, all right? Let's see. Tenemos Miss Jenner and Michael or Michelle? I don't know. All right, good morning. Are you uh, Michelle Perez? Good morning, yes I am. My name is Jen uh, Jenner. I'm the supervisor on duty. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there enough seats for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training room. Got it. How many uh, lounges or recreational places? Is there a lounge? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. All right. 
So this is the conversation that we have here. We still talk about the use of there is or there are, but now in question. Acuérdense ayer que veíamos la presentación de PowerPoint, veíamos el uso de there is, there are in question, que le damos vuelta. Anteponemos el is y el are a la palabra there para hacer las preguntas. Y aquí lo vemos en negrito. Is there a conference room? Are there enough seats for listeners? All right. So these are the questions. Let's see. Carlos Roberto, can you please be Miss Jenner and Emelina? Can you be Michelle, please? Okay. Good, um, good morning. Are you Mike Dennis or Michelle? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is. Jen Jenner, I am the supervisor on Jenny. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And uh, if so, are there enough states of your listeners? Maria Merina, apagó su micrófono. Sorry, okay. Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training room. How about or recreational places? Is it all? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria mm -hmm. inside. And the rest of the is two bases missing. Yeah, pero usted siga con el que le toca. <laughs> I think it's the, the same paragraph. Uh, yes, it is in front of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right. A ver. Uh, thank you, Emelina. Thank you, um, Roberto. Let me see. I need, so, I need two more. Two more volunteers to read the conversation, please. Me teacher. Thank you. Me teacher. Excellent. All right. So the first one, uh, can you please be Miss Jenner and the other one is Michelle. Good morning. Are you Michelle Perez? El compañero que dijo me teacher. Uh -huh. Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jane Jenner. I am their supervisor on Dude. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. No. Nice to meet you, Miss mm -hmm. Jenner. Thank you. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there enjoy seat for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The company room is next to their tra training room. Go it. How about longer or resting place? Is there a long? Jed, he is in front of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you, Alexander. Very nice. Two more. I need two more volunteers. Me, teacher. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo Melita. All right, thank you. So, you, uh, Alex, I mean, Carlos Eduardo, you are Miss Jenner, y la compañera, uh, you are Miss, uh, uh, you are Michelle. Okay. Good morning. Are you Michelle Perez? Good morning. Yes, I am. My name is Jane. Jenner, I'm the, hasta ahí se queda, ¿verdad, teacher? I'm the perdón, supervisor. Perdón. I, uh -huh. I am, I'm the supervisor on two, two. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mr. Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room 
in here. And if so, are the no say for listening? Yes, absolutely. The conference room in next to the training room. Great. How about a longer or recreation, recreational place? Is there a long? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria inside the new building wing. Excellent, thank you. All right, very good guys, thank you. It says, good morning, are you Michelle Perez? Good morning, yes I am. Um, I am the supervisor on duty, all right? Nice to meet you, nice to meet you, Miss Jenner. Let's get started. Is there a conference room in here? And if so, are there enough seats for listeners? Yes, absolutely. The conference room is next to the training room. Got it. How about lounges or recreational places? Is there a lounge? Yes, it is in front of the cafeteria, inside the new building wing. All right, revisen ahí la conversación. Check for pronunciation and check for understanding. Y me avisan ahí. If you have questions about vocabulary, if you have questions about pronunciation. Teacher. Yes, Johnny. Uh, with salones, lunch, uh, finish with SH in the pronunciation. Uh, where are you, Johnny? Long, lunches. Oh, for example, ah, lunches, yes. Uh, Donde dice Miss Jenner, got it. How about lunches? Uh, uh -huh. Yes. Yes, or recreational places, yes? Yeah, we finish with SH in the pronunciation. Lounges, yes. Uh huh. You don't say okay. lunches. Uh huh, lounges. Mm -hmm. Very good. Any other? Uh, go it. Got it. Very good, Carlos. Got it. Got it. Es cuando usted dice, ah, ok. <laughs> Chivo. Ya entendí. Super. Ok. Todo eso puede ser, Carlos. Depende del contexto y con quién usted esté hablando. Pero ah, got it. Got es it. Un, digamos que es un, <laughs> very good. Es un poco no informal. O sea, sí, pero está bien, ¿verdad? Yo le estoy explicando algo y se me dice, ah, ok, teacher, got it. Ok, ya, ya entendí. Ya, ya it. lo agarré. <laughs> Got it. Eh, okay. Teacher, una última pregunta. Eh, yeah. eh, Michael Pérez, o yo lo, siempre había dicho Michael Pérez. I don't know, no. es que I think it's, yeah, I guess it's Michael Pérez or Michelle. Some people spell Michelle that way, so I don't know, I guess it's Michael. <laughs> All right, that's okay. Very good. Anybody else? Teacher. Yes. Um, in the, in, in this sentence, Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Are there enough seats for listeners? Um, in this sentence, um, is meaning of um, hay suficientes asientos for um, para para mm -hmm. para el, que sé yo, lo, lo, las personas que van a atender el meeting. Sí, para, las, para los participantes, María Marina. Uh -huh. Participantes. Sí. Ok. Ok, thank you. All right. So, en este caso, es, es, lo tradujéramos tal cual sería escuchas, ¿verdad? Pero es como los participantes, porque quien va a llegar a hablar es el speaker, y los demás van a llegar a escuchar, que serían los listeners. Uh -huh. okay, thank All right. you. Very good, thank you. Any, anybody ¿Sí? else? Yes. Teacher, about the last word, uh, the new building, wink. Mm -hmm. Un nuevo edificio, uh, wink, ¿qué sería en este caso? Ala, pero supongo que es como el nuevo espacio del edificio, el helado, mm -hmm. ese lado del edificio. Uh -huh. oh, ok, ok, thank you. Thank you, all right. Now, do you guys understand this expression? And if so, do you understand what that means? Y si entonces, no. Ajá. Y es como decimos, y si sí hay. <ríe> All right, porque ella le pregunta, ¿verdad? 
hay un salón de conferencias acá y si sí si hay suficientes asientos para los escuchas o para los participantes. O y si, y si hay, en otras palabras. All right. And if so. All right. Very good. All right, guys. Very nice. Okay. So let's check this here. Let's do this um, individually. Siempre based on the conversation acá. It says complete the questions about the conversation. Then write the answers. Terminen la pregunta acá. Dan la respuesta for number one and for number two. Let me know when you finish so we can check. Nos quedamos acá. Todavía no nos vamos a grupos. Me avisan cuando terminen. Exercise one and exercise two. All right, finish the questions and the answers. Yes? Okay, very good. Let me see here. Um, thank you. Let me see. Um, Victoria, can you tell me question number one, please? Todavía uh, no, teacher. Ah, okay, no se preocupe. Kevin, ¿tienen la pregunta lista? Kevin? Um, no? Okay, very good. Okay. Oh. Are, are there no era de solo configurarla? Sí, exacto. Sí, sí, Kevin. Are there, are there no things for listeners? Excellent. Y is there a, a conference room? Excellent. Very good, Kevin. Terminó las dos preguntas. Very nice. Are there enough seats for listeners? And is there a conference room? Carlos Eduardo Melgar, para la primera. Are there enough seats for listeners? What is the answer? At the conference, yes, absolutely. There, there are. Yes, there, there are. are. Uh -huh. Yes, there are the conference room in the next to the training room. Okay. All right. Is there a conference room? Yes, there is, right? Okay, very good. So are there enough seats for listeners? Yes, there are. Is there a conference room? Yes, there is. Okay, very good, guys. Thank you. Let's continue with this. All right, this exercise that we have here, how to use there is and there are in question. Remember that we saw this yesterday. When you ask a question, you put the is or the are first. Is there, are there. All right, so for example, I'm gonna stop sharing for a second. Si yo le vengo y le pregunto, a ver, um, I don't know, wait, hay varios con la cámara apagada ahora. I don't know what happened. Trini, is there a dollar city in your neighborhood? Yes, there are. And how I'm many? <laughs> Is, is there a dollar city in your neighborhood? Yes. Yes, there is. So yes, there are like many. Yes, I want... there are many. Okay, very good. Okay, very nice. Daniel, are there 
airplanes in your job? Yes, there are many planes. Ah, very nice. Thank you. Johnny, <laughs> are there many students in your school? Yes, there are. Ah, very good. Maria Melina, are there many? Ah, no, wait. Are it, um, is there a lot of medicine in your drugstore, Maria Melina? Yes, there are, teacher. Mm, okay, okay, very nice. Thank you. Now, uh -huh. Medicine, Maria Melina, is it countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Excuse me? Um, countable? Okay. ¿Sabe que medicine? A ver, ¿qué dicen los demás? Medicine, como nombre. Medicine, is it countable or uncountable? Repeat. Uncountable. I think medicine, it's medicine, it's countable or uncountable? Sorry, Daniel? I think it's uncountable. Because it's, uh, uh, it, it depends on the, how say, it depends, it depends on the context. Uh -huh. Because in this, in my, in the box near to my, to my bedroom, uh -huh. to my bed, uh -huh. Like to my game, I have five, five medicines. Uh -huh. It's comfortable. Well, okay. I mean, it depends about the context. And the, okay. in the pharmacy, in drugstore, yes. In the drugstore, it's uncomfortable. It's a lot of medicine. Ah, uh -huh. all I right. Think... Okay, Daniel, vamos por ahí, it's vamos my, por el camino. It's my opinion. <laughs> that's good, that's good. A ver, um, Giovanni, what uh -huh. do you, Alexander, what do you think? Y luego Maria Melina, countable or uncountable? Mm, many things. Medicine, aha, uh -huh. medicine is countable or uncountable? Oh, uncountable. Uncountable. Incountable, non countable. Okay, okay, non countable. Why, Alexander? Okay, a ver, en lo que piensa ahí, Maria Melina, tell me, aha, uh -huh, Maria Melina, countable or uncountable? Teacher <laughs> mm, is depending because if uh -huh. You ask me um, about different branches, uh -huh. maybe it's countable. But okay. if you ask only for medicine, um, mm -hmm. uncountable. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Anybody mm -hmm. else? Ya vamos a explicar ahí. Anybody else? Opinions about medicine, countable or non-countable? Depends. Uh -huh, Johnny? Uh, for example, tablets. Uh -huh. Tablets is countable. Claro. Three tablets. Yes. A blister of yes. ten tablets. Yes. Uh, with Arabe, no Arabe. Uh, yes. Uh, Syrup. It's uncountable. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. A ver, y si yo les pregunto, oh, huh? dígame, alguien dijo teacher. Aunque los botes de jarabe sí son contables. Claro, los botes sí. <ríe> Muy bien. A ver, si yo les digo about mm, fruit or vegetables, fruit is it countable or non-countable? Carlos Eduardo Maldonado, ¿qué piensa usted? Cuando hablamos de fruits, is it countable or uncountable? Uh, maybe it's uh, the... Uh, to refer to one, two, or three is countable, uh -huh. but uh, the term uh, fruit is uh -huh. uncountable. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, but I don't understand. When is it going to be countable and when is it going to be yes. uncountable? Yeah, I'm using a noun mm -hmm. is countable. Uh -huh. um, in general, is uncountable. Okay. 
All right, I think I understand. Anybody else? Con respecto a fruits, is it countable or uncountable? Uh, the fruits in the in a tree, I think, is uncountable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because we have a little fruit and a big fruit. Okay. But but if I have fruit in my in my how say in my in my cable. Mm -hmm. I is, is comfortable. Mm -hmm. Ok, very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ok, a ver, cuando hablamos de contable y no contable, igual ustedes saben que lo, la mayoría de cosas que son countable y uncountable, pero resulta a, algo, espéreme, antes de, de, de darles la definición, a ver, y money, is it countable or uncountable? Alguien que no haya opinado hasta ahorita, ¿qué piensan? Money, countable or uncountable? Incountable. Ok. Ok. Edwin, que, eh, perdón, Kevin, ¿qué me dijo? Countable or uncountable? Incountable. Oh. Ok. Pero ¿y por qué? Tell me why. Teacher, in this case, is uh, the general, the, the singular. Is the uh -huh. countable, uh -huh. but the plural is incountable. Uh, for example, uh, in the medicine, uh -huh. the, como decía Johnny, the uh -huh. blister, claro. it is specific. Uh -huh. But the, uh -huh. in the general, the oh, liquidos is incountable. Okay. It depends this case. All right, very good. Okay, okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos. Very nice. Okay. Cuando medicine. Tenemos... Uh -huh. Edwin? Many cents is incountable. Okay, all right, very good. Cuando tenemos nouns como medicine, fruit, vegetables, money, furniture, si lo vemos, si decimos nada más medicine, fruit, vegetables, money, son uncountable. ¿Por qué? Porque eh, dentro del grupo hay diferentes unidades. Vámonos al dinero. Decimos money, tenemos pennies, nickels, dimes, dollars. ¿Ok? Si desgloso esas unidades en pennies, nickels, dimes, dollars, eso sí se vuelve incontable. Pero money como nombre es uncountable. Por eso usted dice, how much is this? How much is this? No dice how many. ¿Por qué how much? Porque voy a, me refiero a dinero. ¿Ok? ¿Qué vale la tijera? How much is this? ¿Ok? Decimos how much. Usted dice, yo tengo mucho dinero. I have much money. No dice, I have, I have many money. I have much money. Lo mismo pasa con la fruta, la verdura, la ropa. ¿Ok? Porque son, es un conjunto que dentro de ella hay diferentes, está conformada por diferentes unidades. Falda, blusas, pantalones, camisas, calcetines, etc. Lo mismo pasa con medicina y es lo que decía Johnny. Si hablamos de tabletas, del jarabe, de los blisters, de, um, I don't know, de las pastillas que ya no es, la, o, o cápsulas, entonces ahí se vuelve contable. Tengo tres, tre, tres pastillas, tengo tres o tengo cinco tabletas, ¿ok? Ahí se vuelve contable, pero si yo digo medicine, yo vengo y le digo a María Melina que trabaja en la farmacia, how much medicine is there in the drugstore? Y ella me dice, uh, there is a lot of medicine, all right? Ahora, si yo le digo, how many Tylenols? Ah, bueno, entonces ella empieza a contar cuántas Tylenols hay, digamos que hay mil, o cuántas, I don't know, eh, sorritone, all right? Entonces empieza a contar los caramelos, ¿ok? Entonces, ahí se vuelve contable, pero medicine es un conjunto, es uncountable, all right? Por lo tanto, voy a usar is there, all right? Igual con la fruta. Yo le puedo preguntar, how much fruit do you eat? All right, no le digo how many fruits do you eat? How much fruit do you eat a day? Y usted me dice, ah, I eat one banana, two apples, one mango, one jicama. Ahí sí me la desglosa y se vuelve contable. Pero decimos fruit is uncountable. 
All right, entonces acuérdémonos para poder entender Eso es como tengo el grupo y si el grupo de lo que conforma ese grupo son diferentes tipos de unidades, entonces ese grupo es uncountable. Ya las unidades son countable. All right? Y eso tiene mucho que ver con there is and there are. Por eso es importante y por eso hay que hacer como ese recordatorio, ¿verdad? Very good. Do you have any other question? ¿Entendimos eso de los, de los countables, um, countables, María Melina? Um, in this case, um, the, the answer for your question is, um, there is a lot of medicine. There is a lot of medicine, yes. Okay. Very good, new, yes. Very new nice, point, María Melina. New point, teacher, thank you. Yes. <laughs> All right, very good, guys. Excellent. Okay. So right now, guys, this is what I want you to do. I want you, vamos a ver, quiero que piensen en dos preguntas, una con is there y otra con are there. De lo que usted quiera preguntar, is there, ya sea sobre lugares o cosas o lo que sea, usando is there y usando are there. Hagamos two questions on your notebook right now, please. Y las vamos a preguntar a sus compañeros. Thank you. Me avisan cuando vayan terminando con eso. All right, finish your question. Your questions, yes? No? Okay, me avisan. I finished. I finished picture. Excellent, very good. Everybody else is finished too, besides Johnny and Daniel. Carlos Eduardos. <laughs> yes, teacher. Excellent. And Carlos Eduardo Maldonado finished too. Edwin, Kevin, Oscar, Edilson, Giovanni. Jorge Argueta finished. Carlos Roberto, Emelina, Vicky, everybody else is finished. I'm ready. Yes. I finished. Teacher. Thank you. Very good. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you, Maria Melina. Eh, Rocío, are you finished? Nancy, Misael, Juan Jose, Jose David, everybody's finished now. We need to chill. Thank you. All right, let's see. Johnny. Ask one question. Usted escoja si is there or are there. No importa. Ask a question to one of your classmates. Usted escoja quién le quiere hacer la pregunta. Ok. Um, Carlos Eduardo Maldonado. Ajá. Uh -huh. Is there a museum in your city? Mm. Um, in my city. Ok. Yes, uh, there is. Okay, thank you. Excellent, very good. Okay, thank you. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado, ask a question to someone else. Um, Carlos Eduardo Melgar. Melgar. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, excuse me. <clears throat> are there orange in the kitchen? Oh, are there oranges in your kitchen? Is 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 the kitchen? The cuisine. Remember, okay. Uh, no, there. No, there is. No, there aren't. Porque como a Carlos Eduardo le pregunto, are there oranges? Ah, perdón. The no, there are. Correct. No, there aren't. Very no, nice. Are. Okay, very good. Carlos Eduardo Melgar asks, ask your question to someone else. Eh, Giovanni Alexander. Mm -hmm. eh, is there a library on the street? Ah, is there a library on your street? Uh huh. Repeat the question. Is there a library on the street? Yes, there is. Okay, very nice. Alexander, ask a question to someone else, please. Tenemos Trini, Oscar Edilson, Daniel, Carlos Roberto, Maria Melina, Edwin. Adela. Ah, Trinidad. Ah, Trini. Okay, very good. Trini, ready? Yes. Okay, Yo Alexa. La no, él se, él la, se la pregunta. Ajá. Is there a university, university uh -huh. around the European? Alexander, lo, yo, um, bueno, yo lo oigo bien lejos. No sé si Trini le logró escuchar. No. Is there a university around? Le logro escuchar algo así como Is there a university around, eh, no sé, around your house? In your house. In your house, creo que. Ajá. Quiero ver. Hay una no tan cerca como una cinco cuadros. <laughs> ok. Ah, oh, bueno, pero there is one. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, right, right. there is one, entonces. Excellent. Very good. Trini, ask to Vicky. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ask one question to Vicky Dinora, please. Ok. Are there a churches in your city? Are there churches in your city? Ajá, uh -huh, Vicky. Yes. Uh, are there... Three church. Yes, there are three churches. Very good. Vicky, can you ask one question to Daniel Antonio? Um, there are cars around in your work. Uh, are there cars around your work, Daniel? Uh, yes, there are many cars. Excellent. Very nice. Okay, guys. Thank you. Uh, you know what, Daniel? Ask me one of your questions, Daniel. Okay. Is, is there a car in your house? Yes, there is. There is one car. Very good. Thank you, Daniel. Okay. Excellent. Okay. I'm going to take the second attendance para luego podernos ir a los grupos y que practiquen un poquito ustedes ahí. A ver, um, let me see here. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Yes, Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present. Cristina Roxana Romero de Araujo. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present, teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. I heard. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present. José David Rivera Aquino. Present. Juan José Conrado. Julio César Merino de González. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Misael Rivera Aquino. Present, teacher. 
Thank you. Nancy Lisset Rodriguez Escoto. Present teacher. Oscar Edilson Correa Spice. Present. Rocío Katia Maritza Martinez Cubillas. Present teacher. Rosa Lisset de Paz Hernández. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Present teacher. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. Oscar Armando Esquivel Quiñones. María Emelina Iraeta de Salinas. Present. And thank you. And Daniel Antonio Luna. Thank you, María Emelina. Present teacher. All right, guys. Very good. Now we can go. Let's go right now. I want you to work on this. This here. Vamos a hacer lo siguiente. How to use there is and there are in questions. Vamos a leer esto que está aquí con su compañero y compañera y termina esto que le están pidiendo aquí. Para to ask singular questions, we use. Ya lo termina de complementar. And to ask plural questions, we use. Luego, I want you to work on exercise five. Estamos on page 22. I want you to answer these questions. Write the questions that correspond to the answer that follows. Use the words in parentheses, okay? Entonces, ya le dieron la respuesta. Ustedes hagan la pregunta, okay? All right, guys, so it's page 22, exercise four, and page 22, exercise five. All right, guys, let's go to your groups now. Okay, let's go. Vicky, Carlos Eduardo Maldonado, Julio, Juan José Conrado, Juan José no sé si puede participar y Cristina no sé si pueden participar. Si me escriben en el chat, can you tell me please? Julio Merino. Julio. Ok, Cristina, no se preocupe. Julio. Bueno. Eh. Hola. Hola, Hola teacher. teacher. Hola. Eh, lo mandó al grupo ¿Sí? para que practicaran. Para hacer el ejercicio de la Para página 22. Ah, este okay. ejercicio, el ejercicio 4 hay que leerlo y terminar lo que está en azul. Y luego el ejercicio 5. Okay. Perfecto, teacher. Okay. Gracias. Claro, como bueno. la... Bueno. <risa> ok, permíteme que ahora... Hola, Rosa Lisette. 
Hello, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. ¿Cómo está? Bien, bien. Un poquito tarde porque se me atraseo. Tenía un compromiso y ya llegando vengo hoy. No se preocupe. Gracias por entrar a clase. Acaban de irse sus compañeros, Lizeth. La voy a mandar a un grupo para que eh, puedan participar. Acaban de irse. Están en la página 22. Oye. Ok, teacher. Gracias. Ya la mandé, eh, Lizeth. Sí, gracias. Ahorita.
Hi, Katia. Hi, Daniel. Hey, teacher. Hello. I, we have a question. I only work at number five. Yes, it was number four and, and number the, five. Ah, uh, number four and five. Yeah, number okay. four is very short. You only have to finish yes. the question. To ask singular questions, we use. And uh, to ask plural questions, is, is, we use. Mm -hmm. Is there and um, are there? That's right. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. You okay. finished? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Finish. Okay. Yes. Excellent. All right. Okay. One more minute and then we go back. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys, very good. I think everybody was able to finish. It wasn't very difficult. So let's check this right now. So number one, Maria Melina, for exercise four, look at the words in bold and complete the statements in the box. Can you please read Maria Melina number one and number two? Okay. Is there a meeting room in your company? Ah, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the number two, is there a treatment plan in your workplace thank you all right very nice Let's, yes thank you let me see here what about um edwin can you read number three and four del, del ejercicio acá de arriba uh, okay are there another representative representatives uh-huh mm -hmm. yes there there are. Okay, and number four? Are there many restaurants in your world? Excellent, thank you. All right, Oscar Edilson, number one. Bueno, no tiene número, pero dice, to ask singular questions, we use what? Oscar? Is there. Is there, very nice. And let me see here. And Kevin, to ask plural questions, we use? Number four. Sí, la, la, esta parte de acá. Ah, eh, okay. To, to a singular question we use. Um, singular is, is there. Y to explore a question we use are, are there. Excellent. Thank you, Kevin. Very good. Thank you. Katia. Just pay attention to my question. Katia, está por ahí? Yeah? All right, very good. 
Katia donde okay. dice number one, siempre del ejercicio cuatro. Is there, Katia, a meeting room in your company? Yes, there is a meeting room. Ah, very nice. Thank you. Very good. Let me see here. Vicky, is there? Um, no, you know what? Number three. Vicky, are there enough representatives in your company? Vicky, no sé si está por ahí. Okay, maybe not. Um, Daniel, are there enough representatives in your company? Like enough yes, people, there. yeah? Yes, there are. Okay, very good. The, um, Carlos Eduardo Maldonado, are there many restrooms in your work? Yes, there are many restrooms. Excellent, very good, thank you. Okay. Let's go to exercise number five. Look at the question in number one. Bueno, la respuesta era, yes, there is one. It is next to the manager's office. Is there a conference room in your company? Number two, no, there are not any. We have no training rooms. What is the question? Are there training rooms in your company? Excellent. Are there training rooms in your company? No, there are not any. We have no training rooms. Very nice. Number three. No, there is not one. Anybody with a question for number three? Is yes. there? Is there on limit? In your neighborhood. Ajá, uh -huh. ¿cómo nos quedaba? Is there? On seat clinic. Okay. On seat clinic. Vamos a ver, solo quiero ver si hicieron esto. Lo vamos a escribir de acá. Is there an on site clinic? Uh -huh. ¿Pusieron así? No, no. Ah. Oh, no. Okay, oh no. All right. Acuérdese que si llevamos el is there o there is, en este caso porque es pregunta, necesito el artículo, ya sea a or an. Y en este caso, como la siguiente palabra, que en este caso es on, suena como vocal, necesito an. Is there an on-site clinic? Okay. Yes? Yes, Johnny. On site clinic, uh, the function is only one word. Sí, on site clinic. Uh -huh. On site clinic, cuando yo le pregunto, is there an on site clinic in your school? Es como que si hay una clínica dentro del colegio mm -hmm. o dentro de la empresa, dentro de la, de la compañía, dentro de la. Uh -huh. On site. Oh, es, es, es igual casi como decir nearby, que se unen dos palabras. Sí, exacto. Ya, yeah. on site es como ahí, en donde usted está laborando en ese caso. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank you, Johnny. Very good. Así que todos corrigiendo ahí, ¿verdad? Nadie le puso a Ana en serio. Nadie. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> What happened? That's ok. A ver, number four. Yes, there are five restrooms inside the building. Are there many restaurants? Okay. Are, yes. Are there many restrooms? The building. Yes. Are there many restrooms? Yes. There are five restrooms inside the building. Okay. All right. Very nice, guys. Thank you. We're going to stop working with this. Y vamos, a, vamos a trabajar con esto ahorita. All right. <laughs> Let me see here. Vamos a ver. Dame un segundito. Yo voy a el celular de Vicky. Yo voy a la que no Vicky hasn't realized her um, microphone. Vicky, your microphone. Ya que está agachada, es algo. Ya que está agachada. All right, done. <laughs> Okay, let's see. We're going to work on this right now. Deme un segundo.
Okay. Wait, guys, here. This is what we're going to be working on right now. I want you to take a picture. All right. Grammar. There, a grammar error correction. There is and there are. Positive, negative, and questions. Como ya vimos las tres. Positive sentences, negative sentences, and questions. Now we're going to make this exercise. Find and correct the mistakes below. Put a check next to the seven sentences that are correct. Hay siete correctas. Las demás están incorrectas. Okay? Please take a picture of this right now. Finish? Ready, teacher. Thank you. No. Uh -huh. Oops. No? No, teacher. Ahí, ahí, Johnny. Okay, thank you. Okay, y la segunda, acá. Okay. One second, teacher. Yes, that's okay. Ready? Entonces, hay que corregirlas. Hay siete que no necesitan corrección porque están correctas, okay? Si están correctas, obviamente, just put a check. Si están incorrectas, corríjalas, okay? So let's go back to our groups right now. Siempre seguimos con los mismos grupos. Chir, puede poner la última pantalla. Sí, claro que sí, ahorita. Vaya. La primera también, please. Ok. Vaya. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. No sé si siguen abiertas sus aulas, sí, ¿verdad? Sus grupos. Teacher, antes de irme al, al, a mi sala, ¿Sí? yo, yo le escribí por WhatsApp porque tengo dudas con el ejercicio 6 de, de la plataforma. Ahí tal vez me lo contesta más tarde. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Usted me okay, escribió ahora, me ¿verdad? En la sala. Ayer en la noche, a las 10 y 15, estaba queriéndolo hacer. Ajá, y me escribió hoy en la, al mediodía también, ¿verdad? En la tarde. No, ya no. No sé. Ah. No. Sí, es que ayer ya no le pude contestar que estoy con un diplomado y estaba terminando unas cuestioncillas. Vaya, ya ah, le voy sí. a revisar ahí. Uh -huh. Ok, bye. Bueno. José David se puede ir a su grupo. José David.
Teacher. Hi. Hi, David. Hi, David. Hola. Teacher me sacó de la sala, no sé si era por mi, mi internet, pero estamos practicando con mi Israel y me sacó de un solo de la sala. Vaya, David, sí, yo creo que es su inter, porque de hecho ahorita lo oigo bien cortado, pero ahorita lo mando a otra sala. Ok, teacher, está bien. Hola David, lo volvió a sacar.
No puede ser porque hay ninguna de esas. ¿no? Hi Johnny, hi Alexander, how are you guys? Hola. Entonces, esa siento que es la está buena. We have a, a problem with the seven. Uh -huh. Why? Why aren't? In the question, I can't uh, ask in negative or yes. Why aren't there any dishes on the table? Uh -huh. So what do you guys think? Okay. The seven says, bueno. why aren't there? Yeah, but it, so your question is, Johnny, if you can make it negative, a questioning negative. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, but it's okay. Es como que si yo le digo, ¿por qué no hay platos en la mesa? Ya uh -huh. están sirviendo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, you can do it like that. Uh -huh. Why are there? Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Sounds strange, but it's it's possible, John. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank All right. you. Very good. And uh, you finished everything else. No, we need one correct. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. You have six correct ones? Oh, there are. No. Mm -hmm. Um, Johnny, you have Johnny and, and Alexandra, you have six plus number two. Yes. One, no, three, six four. with the number two. Ah, okay, yeah, you need one more. Uh huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know, Giovanni. Uh, teacher, can I say there are in half? No. For which number? Uh, um, what, why, why, why? Oui. Six, number six. Is number six. I yo no I no I tengo. There no. aren't have no there aren't have any customers in the source. Yeah, number six. It's not right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. La dos. Mm-hmm. ¿Qué pasó con la 12, Alexander? Porque eh, la habían puesto no. que estaba mala, ¿verdad? Ah, but, uh, uh, a few, no ya sé si es bien. una palabra. Sí, ¿se acuerdan que ayer? Viéndola bien, es como uh -huh. Sam tuvo un poco, bueno, unas pocas horas para terminar Exacto. La, su tarea. Su Very trabajo. good, Alexander. ¿Sí? ¿Está bien? Okay. Sam has a few hours to finish his work. Yeah, la encontraron. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Okay, guys, I think everybody else is finishing. Les voy a dar un minutito más. Revisen ahí rapidito por cualquier cosa y nos vemos en un minuto. Ya los voy a sacar. Okay. Thank you.
Not everybody's back yet. Vicky, did you finish, Vicky? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Mm, so, you... so. so. <laughs> okay. Daniel, finish, Daniel Antonio? Yes, teacher. I think to finish. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Very good. Excellent. Everybody's coming back now. Very good, guys. Let's check the sentences. I'm going to share them with you. Okay. And just give me one second here. And you can tell me if it's right or if you have a correction to make. Vicky, a ver. Vamos a empezar de la tres para allá porque number one and number two, they are already finished. So, Vicky, number three, how many sisters do you have? Is that correct? Or it has a mistake. En esa teníamos un poquito de duda, pero pensamos que podría ir how many there are. How many sisters are there? Are there? Do you have? Ah, si ponemos are there, ya no, no. ponemos el do you have. Ajá, do you have? No, solo eh, are there. Ajá. Sí, la pudiéramos cambiar. How many sisters are there in your family, por ejemplo? All right. Sin embargo, está correcta. No hay que hacerle ningún cambio. So, number three, uh -huh. how many sisters do you have is correct. Ok. Ahora, si usted la sure. quiere cambiar para. Do you have many sisters? Sí, sí, uh -huh. la puede cambiar a esa, solo que va cambiando un poquito el contexto, pero digamos que estamos en. en... En lo mismo, ¿verdad? Sí la puede cambiar ahí también, Edwin. Very good. Pero si no la deja así, it's okay. Daniel, number four. Are there a car in the garage? Hey, teacher. Uh, in fact, is, is a question I asked about. Uh, es, una, es una pregunta que yo le hice. Mm -hmm. uh, this uh, mistake is the correct. Is, is there a car in the garage? Yes. Is there a car in the garage? Very good. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Sure. Yes. Oh, también also um, agregar la S a cars. Sí. Ah, la... pero si le va a agregar S, Vicky, quítele el A. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y solo déjele en cars, ¿verdad? Okay. Sí, la cambiamos toda a are there cars in the garage. Sí, podría ser. O la pasamos a singular. Is there a car in the garage? Very good. Thank you. We have two alternatives, two choices, okay? Number five, I have some friends in Australia. Is that correct, Johnny, or is that incorrect? It's correct. Yes, I have some friends in Australia, okay? Y no le cambiamos nada. Carlos Roberto, number six. There aren't have any customers in the store. Um, concluimos que la palabra have no debería estar ahí exacto Carlos, very nice entonces nos quedaba there aren't any customers in the store excellent, thank you Katia, can you please do number seven eh. is correct teacher Yes, it is. Why aren't there any dishes on the table? It is correct. Very good. Yes. Es una pregunta negativa en el sentido que le ponemos el no, pero es cuando nosotros decimos, ¿por qué no, no hay platos en la mesa? Ok, si ya está servido, por ejemplo, ya vamos a servir. All right, very good. Jorge, Argueta, number eight. Teacher. Uh... Is there a restaurant in the hotel? Excellent. Is there a restaurant in the hotel? Very nice. Thank you. Maria Melina, can you please do, uh, no, do number nine? Number nine. Mm -hmm. I think there are some people waiting outside to see you. Excellent. Uh, which is for art. Excellent, Marimelina. I think there are. 
Some people waiting okay. outside to see you. Yes, very nice. All right, let's see here. Um, Victoria? Victoria? Yes. Victoria, can you do number 10? And there are always so many people. Mm -hmm. Are there always so many people at the zoo? All right, thank you, Victoria. Yes, cambiamos el is por? R. Very nice, yes. Trini, can you please do number 11? It's correct. It's correct, yes, there is a bear at the zoo, but there aren't any elephants. Okay, very nice, thank you. Um, Carlos Eduardo Melgar, number 12. Okay, teacher, I have question, the number 11. Uh-huh. That is gay, is the singular, there is a bear at the zoo. Mm -hmm. Is the also, verdad? Sí. But the, the continue, this is, but there aren't any elephants. Uh -huh. What is the, is correct, la, la, porque entendí que era al inicio, there are, también, o escuché mal. No, no, there is, está bien así, there is. Está bien, ¿verdad? Así como está. Sí, sí está bien así ah, okay, como está. Okay. Uh -huh. Sí, porque decimos, okay. hay un oso en el zoológico, pero no hay ningún elefante, oh, pero no hay, no hay elefantes, no hay ningunos elefantes. Uh -huh. Correcto. Okay, Very nice. Yes, yes, thank you. Yes, in, the, in this case, the mm -hmm. number is, for me, this correct. Which one, number? It's correct, Berta. For, for number 12, Carlos. For number 12, uh -huh. yes, Sam uh -huh. has a few hours to finish his work is Excellent. correct for yes, me. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So thank you. Very good. Sam has a few hours to finish his work. Excellent. Very nice. Uh, let me see here. Nancy, what about number 13? Are there a school near you home? Excellent. Are there? Cambiamos el list for are. Are there schools near your home? Very nice. Thank you. Lisette, can you do... Oh, oh yeah. Lisette, sorry. Can you do number 14? Lisette, ¿está por ahí? Yes, teacher. Yes. Is, is correct. How many countries is there in South Africa? Eh, segura, Liz. How many countries? No, are, are there. How many countries Excellent. are there? Yes. Are there. Yes. How many countries are there in South America? Yes. Very nice. Thank you. Uh, let me see. Misael, can you do number 15? No. Si me ayudan con un micrófono que está abierto por ahí. Misael. <coughs> number 15. Are there have a phone hmm? that it can host? Uh-huh. What is the mistake, Misael? Hay error por ahí? It's correct. It's correct, teacher. Ah, ok. Revisémosla bien. ¿Los demás compañeros me ayudan? Is, oh. is, is there a phone is that there. Oh. Is, is yeah. there, teacher? Yes, is very there, good. Is there a phone that I can use? Cambiamos el R for is and we omit have. Is or there, are there a phone? Phones. Okay, sí, la podemos cambiar toda plural. Are there phones that I can use? All right, pero por lo general preguntamos si hay un teléfono, ¿verdad? No hay varios teléfonos. Okay, very nice, but it's okay. Number 16. It's correct, teacher. Yes, I have brown hair and green eyes. All right, very good, guys. It's incorrect, teacher. 
<laughs> Why? Because I, it's not true. I, I don't have. I don't have. One. <laughs> I know, me neither. But that's okay. Very good. Yes. Thank you. Okay, guys. Let me see here. I'm gonna stop sharing this. Teacher. Hola. Any is singular or plural? Para los dos, Johnny. Yeah, uh, pero cómo cómo sería? Uh, any elephants is plural. Alguno elefantes o, o in, in, See, in, in Spanish we don't use it like that, but in English you can say cuando es negativo, you can say any. In singular and in plural, Johnny, there isn't any or there aren't any. So any is for both, for singular and for plural. Si digo there 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 are any no no sería correcto. No porque el any es negativo. Uh -huh. Ahora uh -huh. yo lo puedo hacer pues lo puedo sí lo puedo usar para pregunta. Yo le pregunto are there any eh, schools close to your house. El any lo voy a ocupar para dos situaciones negativos singulares y plurales y preguntas. All right. Ahora en Pero, afirmativo uh -huh. no verdad. Ajá uh -huh, John. Pero al traducirlo, como que no tiene traducción. No. Solo está como algo de ayudita aquí a la par. Sí. <risa> para nosotros no, pero para en inglés sí, yo, eh, se oye mejor si cuando no hay algo. Entonces yo digo, there aren't any. Si alguien entrara por decir algo y me dijera, are there children in this class? Yo le digo, no, there aren't any. Se oye mejor decir, no, there aren't any, que solo dejarlo y decir, no, there aren't. Ok, uh -huh. pero sí, en español es como oh, <ríe> a little bit strange. El any lo ocupamos para singular y plural en negativo y para hacer pregunta. Is there, are there? Ok, el any sería en pregunta, sería como para los no contables. Yo le digo, is there any traffic? Y usted me dice, yeah, there's a lot of traffic in San Salvador. Are there, or I say, are there any students in class? Yeah, there are like 19 students in class. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good, guys. Okay, let's see. I'm going to take attendance so you guys can go rest. Eh, ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Vamos avanzando, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que a final de la semana 2 tenemos el, el examen de medio eh, curso ya. Entonces, tenemos, que, tenemos también que estar pendiente de eso para que no se le vaya a acumular. Creo que había uno o dos que no me habían avanzado en la, en la eh, unidad 1. Dígame, María Melina. Uh, the middle exam sería no. para el próximo martes. Um, sí, porque terminamos unidad lunes, ¿verdad? Acuérdese que vamos terminando unidad lunes. Ahora, yo le recomiendo, María Melina, como el lunes es repaso de la unidad 2, entonces... Creería yo que podrían adelantarse, digámoslo así, para hacer el examen el fin de semana. Muy bien. ¿Verdad? Porque ya es el lunes, ya es repaso general de la unidad 2. Entonces no es que se vea tema nuevo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Exacto. All right. Sí, sure. Yes, thank you, María Melina. Eh, yes, con la tarea número 6, no, no encontré dos ejercicios. Igual lo pusieron otro también, compañero. Carlos Eduardo me dijo lo mismo, Maldonado. Eh, ejercicio, tarea 6, ¿verdad? Tío. Yes. Tarea 6. Yes. Ejercicio 3 y 5. Ejercicio 3 y 5. Vaya, ya lo, déjeme verlo ahorita que terminemos y les escribo en el chat ahí. ¿Ok? Ahora lo vamos a ver. All right, guys. Tomo la asistencia entonces. So you guys can go. Sí. Um, Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present, teacher. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Cristina Roxana Romero de Aragua. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Johnny Omar. Thank Present. you. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Presente. José David Rivera Aquino. Juan José Conrado. 
Julio César Merino González. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Misael Rivera Aquino. Present teacher. Nancy Lizette Rodríguez Escoto. Present teacher. Oscar Edilson Corea Spice. Present teacher. Rocío Katia Maritza Martínez Cubías. Present teacher. Rosa Lizette de Paz Hernández. Present teacher. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. Oscar Armando Esquivel Quiñones. María Emelina Iraeta de Salinas. Present teacher. Daniel Antonio Luna, thank you. Present teacher. Excellent. All right, guys. Um, Edwin, no sé si me puede acompañar un ratito. Los demás se pueden retirar y los veo a todos mañana. Thank you, guys. Bye. Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Bye. Bye night. Night night to you. Y present. Thank you, Vicky. No se preocupe, ahí la marqué, tranquila. Teacher, uh, yes. perdón. Dígame. ¿A quién dijo que quedarse ahora? Ah, uh, Edwin. Ah, oh, okay. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye. Ajá, Edwin, ¿cómo está? Very nice teacher. Excellent, Edwin. Edwin, are you at your job? No. Or you're in your house? I'm my, in my house. Ah, okay. Very good. All right. Very good. Excellent. Um, Edwin, I don't know if you have any questions about any of the topics we have studied. Edwin? Uh, for the moment, no, teacher. Uh, sería todo está claro como okay. dice, okay. All right, everything is okay. All right, very good. Excellent, very nice, Edwin. Um, Edwin, ¿cómo, vamos, ¿cómo va usted con la plataforma? Va al día, ¿verdad? No, solo, solo he hecho una, la, la seis. La siete creo que es la seis. Es de completar, ¿verdad? Desde uno tiene que... que, que no sé cuál era, porque la hice el lunes. Ajá, la, el lunes ajá. creo que la hice, pero no. Pero sí me confundí allí en una, pero... Pero pensé yeah. hacerla después porque no me sí. recuerdo ahorita. Ok. Ajá. Y la tarea 6 que estaban diciendo los compañeros del ejercicio 3 y 5 ya la hizo Edwin, ¿se esa, recuerda? Esa creo, en esa creo que es la que me, me había confundido. No sé si puedo chequear ahorita. Sí, sí, por favor. A ver. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Y, y, este, ¿qué le iba a comentar? Eh, me atrasé un módulo, por eso... Por rato siento que me cuesta. Ah, usted está con, con, trabaja con Carlos Eduardo Maldonado. No, no. Carlos García. ¿Mande? Con Carlos García. Ajá. Ah, ah la, la pregunta, este, la 3 y la 5 son exactamente las que no hice del ejercicio 6. Ahorita lo voy a ver, fíjense. Ajá, es que... Igual para ayudarle a los sí. compañeros ya. Según yo, sí la estaba poniendo correcta. Ahí tienen que digitar la pregunta, la respuesta. Sí, sí, sí. Vale, déjenme un segundito, ya voy. Dice, there is three distribution center in Ilopango. Uh -huh. Entonces, yo puse, there are three distribution centers. Y se la tomó mala. Yes, <laughs> sí. Y la seis es, there are not person to work. Y sería, there is, ¿verdad? Sí, ahorita la reviso, permítame. There is. La dice contractada, también igual que. Ahorita la voy a permítame. There are not person to work. Centers in. Y lo pongo, lo puso con mayúscula, ¿verdad? Eh, con mayúscula, ¿verdad? ¿Mande? O sea, perdón, perdón, sí, la puse con mayúscula. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y le puso punto final. Yes. Uh -huh. yes, yes. There 
in, in distribution centers in Ilopango. Si me la toma mala. Fíjese que, bueno, mañana podría yo revisarla desde la plataforma de la academia. Puedo ver. Porque si ahorita no me deja ver la respuesta, ¿verdad? Ahorita lo estoy haciendo yo como que fuera igual alumna. Y pongo las posibilidades y no me las toma. Tendría que verlo desde adentro de la plataforma. Y la otra me dijeron que era a las 5, ¿verdad? Sí, de las 5. Y esa la puso como, there are not... There is not person to work. Sí sería, ¿verdad? There is not... Fíjese que podría ser así o lo podríamos cambiar a people. Aunque fíjese que la número 3, no sé, cuando le doy a enviar, no sé si abajo le sale... There are three distribution centers in Ilopango. Le sale como que la respuesta aquí. Quizás abajo del cuadrito de la 3. No sé si le sale así. Uh -huh. Ah, es que ya sé por qué. Espérame. Ella es como que la respuesta, pero igual está mal. Ajá. Uh, es que lo que pasa, ¿sabe qué pasa en la 3? Que solo tiene que digitar R. No digite todo, solo ponga, es solo corregir el error. Uh, digite nada más R. Ah, ok. Entonces la siete posible, la cinco, perdón, podría ser igual. Sí, ahorita veo, permítame. Sí, quítele, póngale nada más people. Pero en vez de person. Ajá, y solo, no digite más nada, solo digite people. Ah, oh, de... ¿Verdad que sí? Sí. Pero, okay. ah, pero, pero así, there are, there is, oh, there are not person. Uh, está correcto también, ¿verdad? There, lo que pasa es que el person, si es plural, lo tenemos que cambiar a people. Sí. Porque es el plural de person. Mm. Entonces, si fuera, there is not person, sí. Ajá. Ah, exacto, si fuese singular, si es there are, there is not person. Mm, ok, ah, pues ya le encontramos. <ríe> sí, mire, cabal, ah, ahorita lo vamos a poner en el, en el grupo. En el grupo. En el grupo. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Edwin, lo resolvimos juntos. <ríe> very good, Edwin. No sé si necesita algo más, Edwin, o estamos bien. No, no, estamos bien. Excelente, Gracias. Edwin. Thank you so much for being with me tonight. Lo veo mañana. All right, y cualquier cosa estamos para servirle. Oye. Okay. Gracias, teacher. Ok, bye, bye Edwin. Chao.